Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed the opening. This is officially the start of my Demon Souls playthrough. So come with me millions, and we will begin a game that definitely rates as one of my all-time favourites. So Demon's Souls, if you've never played it, is a um, it's basically a sort of old school hardcore game. It uh, it's 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 a very good game though. If you haven't played it, I'm going to suggest you do. It's basically a sort of action RPG. Uh, I'm looking at the back cover here, but it doesn't really help because my game is actually Chinese. Uh, although that doesn't mean the game's going to be in Chinese. Strangely enough, when it came, when it first came out, it uh, don't leave room. I get rid of you. When it first came out, it was actually in uh, only available in China and Japan, I think. But all the all the all the all the uh, all the voices, all the voiceovers, and all the subtitles are all in English. So there's no Chinese in it, apart from the manual and the cane cover. So, yeah. Because I ordered this quite a long time ago because I didn't think it would come out over here so I had to order it in from China. Anyway, so here we are faced with the character creation screen. I'm just going to stick in my name here. Milby. You might notice all my characters are called Milby. Yes, this they are. Right, you can pick gender male or you can be female. They both look quite weird. Oh, I've never actually stepped, didn't realize the night female knights had a visible face. Go back to being a male. Uh, yeah, as you can see his face, it looks very weird. You can be the customization in this looks very odd. I mean, you can change the age so you look older. Does that look that old? If I actually think it looks better older, so let's just fiddle with this for a bit. And you can make yourself look more female. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. That doesn't look right at all. That looks very, uh... I don't know. Let's, like, let's make ourselves look extremely male. Because we're going to be very hard here. Our hair colour will be... Should we go... If we have white hair? Swept back white hair? I think it was. I haven't been... I haven't customised a character that's aged as a ponytail, huh? Could be bald. We have a skinhead. M spot. I quite like the idea of having swept back white hair. Oh, silver, actually. We're, we're, a, we're a hardened... We're a rugged... Hardened uh, season. We're quite old now, you know. We're getting old. We're getting on in our in our age. Details. Oh, look at this. Now there's lots. I mean, you can change the position of your eyes, the eye size. Let's just change the color of our eyes to a manly dark black. <laughs> it looks creepy as fuck. Well, we'll have very piercing dark eyes because we're manly and <laughs> and uh, I you know what I I guess that'll do customize hair color oh. now that'll do should we should we give ourselves a, a more defined jaw I'm worried about touching stuff here I don't know what this is going to do now we'll just leave it like that for now <laughs> I don't want to fiddle over too much, I'm not sure what I'm doing. But yeah, so anyway, we're, we're sort of like a, a hardened warrior. And then you've got your origin. Now the origin plays a, a small part in the very beginning, in the start. But to be honest with you, by the time you've played for this game, I don't know, ten or so times, <laughs> if you actually manage to play through it ten or ten times. Because every time you finish the game, it starts again. Uh, and you get to keep all your stat changes, and the whole game gets pumped up, basically, in difficulty. Everything gets harder, everything does more damage. Yeah, the game's never going to make itself easy on you. But by the end, every character is basically the same. <laughs> Once you've reached soul level, like, 999, every character's stats are going to be maxed out. So, it doesn't really make a difference. But, 
for the first playthrough, um, or at least for the beginning of the first playthrough, these this will make a difference. So as you can see, uh, soul level there. Different characters have different starting soul levels. Um, a higher one isn't necessarily a better one. A lower one would give you more customization at the start. Also, some of the lower ones, such as the royal, do give you uh, spells that you don't get when you start off with as the other ones. But I think for this, what we will go as is probably the classic... Oh my god. <laughs> Naked Barbarian. No, I think we'll go as the classic sort of knight, basically. Because they look awesome, let's, let's not get around. So we'll go as a knight. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. The old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Freyk the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Okay, that was the uh, opening story. Basically gives you a sort of idea. The colorless fog sweeps over, and you're this crazy motherfucker <laughs> who goes and walks straight into it. Uh, this you get this option. This is basically the tutorial. Um, playing up to the Nexus. We're going to do that because there's something I want to show you guys. And now I'm going to go quiet again while you guys just experience this little cutscene. I, you might have noticed the music of the opening was amazing. This game has awesome music. Oh, sh 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 sh. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber.
here we are. In you might have seen that white ghost then. Now in the tutorial level, I'm not sure if they're actual other players, but um, the white ghosts normally show other players walking around. But yes, here we are. Here's our character. Graphics in this game are pretty amazing. Um, and here, this is the basic thing. We've got R1 to attack. L1 raises your shield. And this game will basically tell us anyway. So we're going to go forwards along this little broken down estuary. R1 attack. It gives us an enemy to fight. I don't actually think this enemy can hurt you. No, it doesn't. So we're going to... Ha! Ah! And it's dead. I don't know what those are. They look like... I don't know what they are. They just look like... They look like they're a bit into bondage, to be honest with you. There's a lot of belts going on there. Direction and hold equals dash. And you'll see that green bar at the top is going down as I dash. That is the stamina. It's very important to keep an eye on that. Because you can't really do much if your stamina is low. L1 to guard. This enemy will attack you. So we've got to guard. Oh, attack! attack. Ah. Kill another bondage bastard. And this one here, what does this say? It says R3 target lock slash release and right stick change target. Oh, I'd forgotten that. There we go, so we can change between them. There's another white ghost there. I'm pretty sure on the tutorial level they, uh, they're not other characters, but I could be wrong about that. I actually think we get to go through there. Something that's amazing about this game is pretty much anything you see, you will go to. Um, it's not all just filler, the background, is, which is really nice, that. Um, not all the time, but most of the time people think, oh, fuck, it's in there. Bring it on. Hey, yeah. As you can see, when I kill them, that little box in the bottom goes up a number. That is um, your souls, and you use that basically for everything. Buying stuff, leveling up, uh, crafting, anything. It's very everything. It's basically the currency of everything. Squares to use item. As you can see the item there, uh, Crescent Moongrass, if I press the directional button. Oh no, I've changed my weapon. If I press down, you can see it changing. If I press sideways in the D-pad, I will change my weapon. That's, that's the right button. And if I press left, I'll change what it was in my offhand. Oh, there's nothing such as a shield. And up is magic. Now let's go along here. And now we have to jump down and injure ourselves. What's in here? This, this you can examine these. If it's yellow, it means you can examine it and stuff in there. Crescent moon grass. Oh! oh! Took a little bit of damage. It's okay. Back step, left stick, roll. All very, very helpful things. Wow. Unfortunately, as a knight, because you're wearing such heavy armor, um, <laughs> you do sort of just do this. Ugh. Ugh. If you have, if you're, um, I'll see you after I've killed this guy. If you get behind a character, you can do a backstab. Oh. And they couldn't do it properly there. Ow! Son of a bitch, where did you come from? Yeah. That attack there I did was at R2, by the way. This is a hard attack, but I'll explain that to you later. The tutorial will. Yeah, what was I saying? Yes, right. Um, if you see equip. If your equip is over half of what your maximum equip is, then you will fall over and slow down all the time. Like, you're basically, when you roll, you'll be all bleh. You can increase that by knocking up your... I believe it's endurance. Can't seem to get a back attack on this guy. Oh, well. Carry on through this very lovely garden. It's the very lovely, isn't it? So wonderful. 
nothing creepy about this at all. This is very difficult for me because monsters, I tend to sound quite important on this sometimes. And I have, since I've got the sound delay, it's making this quite weird to play. But today I'm going to go out and I'm going to try and see if I can find a reasonably well priced microphone that's okay to use. And a pair of TV headphones. Whatever they are. If they exist. There we go, strong attack. Right, who's this guy? This guy's a bit harder than your usual guys. You see he's got armor on. I don't know if it's supposed to be a person or like some sort of I think these are all demons. Yeah, these are demons. Oh, that was a back attack. Back attack. They are demons because you get demon souls and you kill them. They're sort of like demons in human form. It's very beautiful, this place. We can break stuff like this usually. Oh. What's that? Ah, the parry. This is pretty cool. If you time it right... I'm not the best when it comes to timing a parry. Ow. Ow. Let's try this again. Ow. Oh yeah, I pressed the wrong button, that's why. There we go. Basically, when they attack you, you press R2 and then you press R1 quickly. I was pressing R2 instead of R... R no, you press L2, sorry, and then R1. I was pressing R2 instead of L2. Has been quite a while since I've played in this game. I'm kinda against the clock here because Demon Dark Souls comes out on the seventh. And I pre-ordered that the other day. And also we've got Show the Colossus coming out soon. That's gonna be a good playthrough. And this guy is probably one of the tougher enemies. He looks pretty terrifying. <laughs> Bring on, motherfucker! Oh shit! Just kill him with style. They do. If you notice, they actually do a fair amount of damage. The enemies on this. Uh, yeah, so it's, it basically your best idea is to not get hit any time. Ah, wield weapon with both hands. This is. This does more damage, but less defense. You can defend. But you won't be anywhere near as well defended as if you were using a shield. Also, I think it might use up more stamina, but I'm not sure about that. It's quite hard to hit these guys. Also, I don't think you can... I think... I don't know if you can parry with a... when you're wielding two-handed, so go back to one hand. God, this is really hard when you just fall over every time you try to roll. Come on, come on, you bastard. Ha! Ah! Now the that the rip the parry and repose uh, is not always an instant kill. Usually it will kill them, but it doesn't always. So be aware of that. The the seem the collision's a bit crazy on this. I seem to be just sort of kicking bricks around. I've never noticed that before. Where are we off to now? Some rickety scaffold. There's a lot of scaffolding here. It's a very incomplete castle. I don't really know where we are, to be honest with you.